Just how well she is, Kay. Welch, right? You got that right, sister. So how have you all been? I've been trying to get through to you guys forever. You couldn't get through to us? Yeah. Where'd you all run off to anyway? Huh? Well, wait a second. Don't tell me. Are you and Edge getting all cozy with each other behind my back? No, no, no. You two should know better than to keep secrets from Auntie Welch. Come on, spill the beans. I want every juicy detail. Like, how'd you get past the whole childhood friend thing? Huh? W wait. Don't tell me. Sorry, Welch. We're kind of busy right now. Talk to you later. If Welch contacted us, that means... Yes. Bacchus's hypothesis was correct. It would seem we were in a different dimension after all. Your home world has not been destroyed. In this universe, your Earth still exists. Did you hear that, Edge? Earth is... our Earth. It's safe. Is that supposed to make me feel better? What? It doesn't change the fact that the other Earth was destroyed. It doesn't change the fact that I destroyed it. Edge. Billions of people have died, but you're all happy because we're safe? That makes us no better than the Cardianon. That was... Look, it couldn't have been helped. If only I hadn't handed over the Exolithium Crystal. How can you continue to go on like this? Stop it, both of you. I know how you feel. My immaturity once caused me to lose much while I was attempting to fulfill my duty as Amorphous. I have experienced much agony and regret, and yet I have never found a complete answer. But I live with the belief that one day I will find that answer. Mr. Edge. You may have much worry and regret, but keep moving forward nonetheless. If you let it hold you back, you will simply molder away. <laughs> the ship! We're under attack! Attack? But why would anybody... Forgive me, Miss Raimi. I'm afraid to say I was somewhat careless. Putting it up now! Can you check their ship's registry? They're... not registered. It's not from Earth or from Eldar. I'm detecting a strong energy burst. We can't dodge it. I'm only chasing my prey. If you get in the way, I'll shoot you down, too. Stay out of this if you value your lives, amateurs. I wouldn't take it personally. The 13th Independent Armored Division aren't exactly known for their kindness. 
But still, what do you think that black ship was? That I cannot say, but I can say what we must do next. Damage may be light, but nevertheless we have sustained an attack. We must check the ship and perform maintenance. I suppose that gives us another reason to land on Roke. Are we able to navigate? The attack produced a slight alteration in our course, but it should be easy enough to correct. Please take care of it. Very well. Let us continue toward Planet Roke. Preparations for landing on Roke complete. Your orders, Captain. Edge, your orders. I judge the Captain to be unfit for command, and hereby exercise my rights as second-ranking officer. Henceforth, I assume command of the Kalnus as acting Captain. Are there any objections? I don't object, but do we really have to land on Roke? Our reasons for landing are all valid. Bacchus, if you will. Our new exolithium crystal is putting too much stress on the ship's generators. It will take no small amount of time to recalculate our energy conversion matrix. Upon landing, we must put the ship's systems into sleep mode to complete the recalculation as quickly as possible. And don't forget checking the ship and performing maintenance duties. And above all, our original SRF mission takes utmost precedence. Investigating habitable planets is the reason we began our journey in the first place. But... That is all. Begin the landing sequence. Huh? Oh, sorry. Hey, what kind of an attitude is that? You're the one who called me. Come on, man, you've got to loosen up. Forget about everything and just go with the flow like this. Go! Go, go! Yeah. Yay! Yay, yay! You're right. Sorry. No! No, no, no! Wrong answer! I'm the one who's going with the flow here, me! Me! What the heck are you apologizing for? Oh, I guess so. Sorry. Uh, yeah. Look, I don't have any idea what happened to you, but you need to lighten up a bit, okay? <sighs> oh, I'm getting tired of this! You're not gonna make anything nice with an attitude like that! <sighs> SRF, fight on! SRF, you're the star of hope on which the future of planet Earth rests! <sighs> Look, eat a good meal. Get some good sleep. 
and get back to being good old Edge, all right? Sorry, Welch. What's that? It's a big, huge... rabbit? It was so round and meaty! Didn't it look yummy? It must be easy for it to navigate these mountains. I'm envious. Don't you think so too, Edge? Sure. Let's get moving. Grabby, wait up, Kay? Hold on! I just want one teensy weensy bite! Edge? What a strange manner of dress. The townspeople seem to be ignoring them. Who cares? They don't have anything to do with us. True. You okay? Yeah, I'm fine. Be careful. I'd better stay sharp. said, ah, was it a scream? Hmm, for a scream, I'd say it lacked a sense of urgency. Oh, dear. Oh, dear. Please stop. Somebody save me. I've verified that the source of the voice is located up ahead. I'm detecting a number of life signs in its vicinity. I knew it was a scream, you! Edge. <sighs> Regardless of the situation, we can't ignore a cry for help. But I... I... Somebody! Please! Unhand that me. woman! Damn it all! I'm not 
I'm not supposed to be doing this. But... Damn it! Get out of here. I'm telling you to get lost! Just go! Are you sure it was best to let them go? Should we not have at least turned them over to the authorities on this planet? What the hell am I doing? No contact. No interference. That's what I swore. Edge. If someone asks for help, you help. That's just the way you are, okay? So, why do you look like you want to cry, Edgy? You haven't done anything bad. You know, if only Edge could think as simply as you, Limmel. Hmm? Are you making fun of me? Oh dear! Whatever am I doing? Me and my manners. I haven't even thanked you for rescuing me yet. My name is Sarah Durand. I appreciate your help. They... They moved. Those are real wings. Oh, chicken. So yummy! <sighs> no, no, no. I can assure you, I'm not chicken. Nor am I yummy. I see. So you're all on a journey together. Well, I must say, I'm so fortunate you came to my aid. Please, just stop. Pardon? I didn't have any intention of saving you. I didn't mean to get involved. But the end result is that I was rescued, right? I really, truly must give you my thanks. Oh? Hmm. Uh, is there something on my face? My, my, my. I've just remembered. You remembered? What did you remember? Yes. Raimi and Edge, did you say? I was just thinking that I'd seen your faces somewhere before. And I remembered. It was at the Purgatorium. Well now, this sounds interesting indeed. Yes, the Purgatorium is located in the northwest of this continent. It's the most historic structure there is. Oh my! Are you a giant? What a large man you are! <coughs> Blast! Good heavens! The giant suddenly disappeared! You're a little slow on the uptake. Both of you. So, what did you mean when you said you've seen us before? The stone statues in the Purgatorium! They're statues of the Mu'a, <gasps> you see. But they look very much like you. Mu'a? Some say the Mu'a are our ancestors. But now they're like ghosts. Nobody even knows if they exist anymore. You can't tell the history of this land without mentioning the Mu'a. There's even an entire continent named after them. Mu'a? Ah, uh, yes, I remember now. <sighs> I believe it was the Cardianon who referred to Edge and Raimi as descendants of the Mu'a. Yeah. If the Mu'a and Earthlings are somehow connected, do you think Roke might be involved as well? I see. Yes, that would seem to be a possibility. If that is the case, we may be able to get closer to the origins of both Earth and Roke. Yes, just thinking about it gets the blood racing. Baze, you kinda look like Eddie right now. How about it? I think it'd be worth our while to investigate this purgatorium. <sighs> Edge? Raimi? 
Yes, you're right. I suppose I'll have to face it eventually. So, are you all planning to go to the Purgatorium? If so, I'd like to accompany you on your journey. You rescued me. Won't you let me repay you by acting as your guide? Oh? Are you gonna come with us, Sari? Yay! If the chicken, I mean Sarah, is coming, then count me in, too! <sighs> oh my! Lim seems very nice, but Mary, you're tad scary. Well, how about it? It sure would be helpful to have a local to guide us. Yes, that's definitely true. Forget it! We can't travel with anyone from this planet. Absolutely not! Right now, I may not be in command, but that is one thing I will not allow! Edge. We don't intend to have any more contact with you people. So, if you're done here, please just go away. Edge, don't you think you're being too hard on her? <clears throat> Whatever our initial reasons, it is we who made first contact. And Sarah is clearly motivated only by kindness. No, no, don't concern yourself with me. But please, do allow me to be a busybody about one thing. If you don't ride a bunny, there's no way you can get to the Purgatorium. A bunny? Are you serious? Some nomads are camping outside the town right now. Why don't you go see them about the bunnies? Maybe they can help you. Very well. Take care of yourselves. Let's go. Well, here we are. Time to find out about these bunnies. Yeah, she said ride, so I assume they must be pretty big. I know, I know! Bunnies, they're fluffy and round and yummy looking. Fluffy? Wait, you mean like that pink thing we saw in the mountains? Yep, that was a bunny. Um, excuse me, do you think you could tell us about bunnies? Korax no Sadra Naloma. I have no idea what he's saying, Kay. Miracle, can you make it out? If this is your home planet, it's possible that. No, I can't understand a word. My Morphous translator is of no use either. This language structure must be quite ancient indeed. I guess we're stuck. Visitors? Oh, it's you people. You're that girl from... Yes, you all wear such unusual clothes. I remember you well. <laughs> I'm sorry, my grandfather can only speak the ancient tongue. But I can translate, so feel free to ask anything you like. Well, we're trying to get to the Purgatorium. Someone we met in town told us we had to ride on a bunny to get there. Nonale da hos bosla. Albani. Astra da bosla. It's true. The only way to cross the desert of quicksands is astride a bunny. So can we have one? I won't eat it. Eat it? Of course you won't eat it. <laughs> <laughs> I'm sorry, but I can't let you have our bunny. 
Why not? We consider him to be an important member of the family. He's been with us since he was a baby, after all. You can't just go handing your family over to strangers, can you? Of course not. I hope you can forgive us for making such a flippant request. <laughs> You're a serious one, aren't you? Don't worry. My grandfather isn't angry, and neither am I. I'm glad. But what are we supposed to do now? Hmm. How about trying to capture a field bunny? A field bunny? Wild bunnies that live in the forests near here. If you can catch one, you'll have your very own mount. Is that even possible? Yes, of course it is. Even mine was a field bunny once, you know. Here, let me show you. <laughs> Everyone, this is my bunny. Usually I let him run free in the wild. I only call him when he's needed. He's the first bunny I caught as a child, and he's still a very important friend to me. All right, now run along and play for a while. Is this like the summoning symbology Lim uses? Not quite, Miss Raimi. This is somewhat different. Hmm? Did you just hear a voice? Uh, um, well, you see, Raimi, summoning is actually a sort of contract, so to speak. Contract? Only a few particular beings from other worlds can become subject to those contracts. Limmel could only summon one specific creature, right? Now that you mention it, it is always Cerberus. The power she just used isn't summoning. It's more like transference. She can freely move any object she wants to another location. Take warp travel. By compressing space, you can reduce the time it takes to travel a certain distance. But as that distance grows, so does the time it takes to cover it. Face, no! You can't start talking about warp or... But that is not how transference works. Transference breaks down the actual data of a physical object, then reconstructs it at any desired location. In other words, the transfer of matter can be accomplished in the blink of an eye, nearly instantaneously. Even we Eldarians haven't managed to achieve that. However, it's much more difficult coordinating transfers for small objects than it is for more massive ones. Considering all that, achieving transference with just a single symbol is astonishing. That's really the only way I can put it. <laughs> I've never seen anyone get so excited about this technique before. Can all of you use this ability? The technique has been passed down through the ages among our tribe, and it's our duty to continue to do so. Is there a particular reason for that? I'm afraid nobody really knows. Nobody? No. All I can say is that our people have always been called the Openers, and that this technique has been with us for generations. The Openers? You say? Nobody remembers why we bear the name. Not even my grandfather and the other elders. What's this? Reins for riding a bunny. As long as you have these, you shouldn't have any problem taming one. Can we really accept something so precious from you? Of course. All we have to do is make another. This will be a huge help. Thank you so much. So, with regards to the transfer technique... I'm sorry. I'm afraid we can't teach it to outsiders. But if you were to join our tribe... I'll certainly give the matter consideration. <laughs> well then, we'll be going now. Thank you so much for all your help. <laughs> 